for the Cree or something. I don't know what the Cree say. They have a saying? Noble warrior heroes. Noble warrior heroes. March 8th is the release of the latest installation in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where you're talking about Captain Marvel. So at this point, all I have seen is the trailer and I had a couple of options on where to go with a drink for Captain Marvel. The trailer doesn't give us a whole lot to go on. Photonic blasts and we see that she has some kind of an infusion of Kree blood and it's bluish green. Uh, very limited options there. The other way to go that I'm, this is where we're going, is Kree backstory, right? The Kree have a drink they call Odium. Hatred. That's Latin for hatred or something, I think. It's a black liquid that they drink when they're certain that they are about to be defeated in battle. It makes them impervious to damage and, and unable to experience pain. It gives them a flash of superpowers to go out in a blaze of glory and then they melts out of their eyes. It's really gross. They die. It's horrible. So we're going to make that. We're going to make Odium today on how to drink. I don't know if it's coming up in the film or not, but it's real possible that somebody's going to drink Odium, uh, or at the very least it'll be referenced. What am I going to do to make Odium? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break the rules. Now, we're going to use some stuff in this drink that would normally suggest we want to shake it. But, one of the ingredients I'm going to use, if I shake it, it will aerate and I won't like the way it looks. So we're going to stir this drink. And we're also going to make it backwards. We're going to start it with some ice in the glass. I was inspired recently by an episode of Drinks I've Never Had Before, Patreon exclusive, to look into using molasses as an ingredient. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to use a half an ounce pour of this black strap molasses. And we're going to start with that. Why did I pour this specifically first? Well, it doesn't come out of my jigger very easily. And so by pouring everything else through it, we're going to help rinse the rest of that out. And now to finish our sweet component, I want to use a half an ounce of morning quinoa. We need a two ounce pour of vodka. And we need a one ounce pour of lime juice. We're going to stir this drink. We're going to stir it a little bit longer than we normally might. Just because it's going to take a lot of work to get that molasses integrated. This is not something that you need to do for this cocktail, but I'm going to do it. I think that it'll add a little extra something, a little extra bite. We're going to smoke this cocktail. We're going to use a little hickory wood for this. And if you have um, a Breville or PolyScience smoking gun, your friends will really be impressed by this. They're going to think that's just the coolest. Fire this guy up. We're going to let that sit in its smoke for a little while. Um, I'm going to serve it in these handy dandy little ampules. Um, these are the kinds of things a Cree warrior might use if they were bringing their little dose of odium with them into battle. Uh, you can certainly serve it in whatever you want, but this is the way I'm going to go. So we have seen Odium in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so we know it exists in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let's give it a taste and see how I enjoy Odium, if it gives me any superpowers. Ooh, better than you'd think. I'm not gonna lie. It definitely has um, a strong molasses component, very, um, it's not sweet. Sweet is the wrong word. Very earthy flavor. Very earthy, smoky sourness, but not in an overpowering or unpleasing way. It's maybe a slightly acquired taste, but it's not really a bad at all. Um, your friends would enjoy these at a party, I promise. You know what this is like? It's a little bit like a really weird daiquiri, even though there's no rum in there. The molasses and um, lime kind of get you there. The quina adds some fruit notes from the cherry that the quina is made from, and also a little bit of bitterness from the tonic. And uh, the vodka, of course, is just there to really proof it up. 
just it's just heavy. It is a heavy kind of knock you down kind of thing. Um, but I don't think it's bad. Um, I mean, that's like a subjective thing anyway. Anybody could like anything, you know. It's actually it's a surprisingly good cocktail. Uh, the hickory smoke, um, maybe a little bit lost. I don't know that that's 100% necessary, but if you can pull it off, man, your guests are gonna be very, very impressed by that smoked cocktail. People love that shit. Woo! Odium. Oh, let's see if it gave me any superpowers. Nah, nothing. I am actually super excited about Captain Marvel. Everything about this movie looks like it's gonna be my speed. I really like the tone of the trailer. Uh, we made a Cree last resort drink called Odium. The Cree warriors would drink this as they charged in on a kind of a bonsai assault when they knew that the chips were down, they weren't coming back alive, and they just needed a last burst of very powerful powers, very powerful powers to go out in a blaze of glory. And so we made Odium. It's really actually pretty good. <laughs> it's really good. A very unique drink. It's like something you've probably never had. And I think, I hope you're gonna like it. And if you do like the show, I hope you will subscribe. I'm on Twitter at How to Drink. I'm on Instagram at How to Drink. I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink. And uh, if you're interested in seeing a longer version of this show, well, it's over there at Patreon. Thank you guys so much. If you like any of the uh, stuff that I'm using, these, these little bottles, a listing will be for them in the description of the episode. And I'm gonna see you guys next week with another cocktail on how to drink. Thank you. There was like these streaks of light that shot out the sides. Oh, that's so badass. That's in the trailer. You know what's going on in this movie. Cosmic powers. It's gonna be sick, y'all. She's got a cute cat, too. Isn't that a cutie? Goose? It's like a Top Gun reference.